Hello and welcome to the Sky Report for February 2020. I'm Patrick So. In the evening sky, shortly after sunset, the planet Venus shines brightly in the southwest all by itself. But it doesn't remain there for long because every month the moon comes by for a brief visit with Venus. Here's a picture I took last month uh, showing Venus and right below it the uh, crescent moon a day before close encounter. And on the day of close encounter, there's Venus and the moon right below it. Now that was last month. If you hadn't had the opportunity to see this, you will again on February 27th when the moon and Venus are together again in the sky at 6.15 p.m. As night falls, uh, look to the south for our winter favorites, uh, the constellations of Taurus, Gemini, Canis Major, and of course, Orion the Hunter which you can distinguish uh, with its three stars in a row for uh, the hunter's belt. And uh, two bright stars above it, one is uh, Betelgeuse. Here's a picture I took of uh, Orion over the Planterm Dome at Griffith Observatory. The star Betelgeuse uh, has been in the news lately, and it has faded to the same brightness as its neighboring star, Bellatrix, uh, sparking some discussion amongst astronomers whether this star will go supernova or not or if it's uh, right now at uh, a deep minimum in its brightness. Keep an eye on it, and uh, we'll see what happens. On the morning of the 18th, and you want to mark this in your calendar, the moon will pass in front of Mars, as seen from Los Angeles. To see this event, uh, you need an unobstructed view of the east-southeast. Look for the rising moon with Mars directly below it at 3.30 a.m. It's best to use binoculars, so with a pair of binoculars, you will see something like this in this zoomed up view here. So this is just a computer simulation. At 3.30, Mars is directly below the moon, and then at 3.37, the moon will begin to pass in front of Mars, and uh, Mars will disappear over the southern limb of the moon. Mars is hidden for about 50 minutes, and at 4.27, Mars will emerge on the western limb of the moon. Zooming back out to the sky here, uh, we'll see the moon and Mars about 13 degrees above the southeast. And then if you look down towards the horizon in the east-southeast, where we first saw the moon and Mars, that's replaced by the bright planet Jupiter, which is now rising at 4.30 a.m. But that's not all. If you wait an hour, Saturn will join Jupiter, Moon, and Mars in a beautiful parade of planets in the dawn light. All right, and now for moon phases this month. We're going with a Valentine theme here with uh, different hearts. So first quarter is on the 2nd, full moon is on the 9th, last quarter is the 15th, and new moon is on the 23rd. You probably notice on the Saturdays there, there's a Griffith Observatory star party. There's one on the 1st and yet another one on the 29th, and that's because it's uh, 2020, it's leap year, and that's a leap year day, so two star parties in the same month. If you're planning to visit the observatory on those days, uh, be sure to come up, because we'll have telescopes set up on the front lawn by local astronomy clubs and also some of our staff as well. So come on by and look through those telescopes and explore the wonders of the sky. Okay, that's all for this month. Until next time, cheerio.